I'm with uh, Juzzy Smith and he's a blues player. So when did you get started playing the blues there, Juzzy? Well, I sort of started playing... I'll just turn this off. I started playing when I was 13 years old and I remember the blues is what got me into music because I loved the sound of... You know, I think I heard a Jeans West ad and it was like just harmonica and just singing and just it sounded like this, I'll play it for you, which is the reason why I like the sound. It goes... <laughs> Well, we got half-priced jeans. And um, yeah, I just fell in love with that sound and I thought, where, where, where does that come from? And I realised um, my brothers were writing ACDC and songs like that, but then I just went further back and listened to the blues. So let's talk a little bit about your instruments. So tell me a little bit about this. Well, this is called a lap slide guitar. The reason why is because you put it on your lap and you play with a slide. And um, yeah, you can't play pushing down notes, you have to play with a slide, so... I love this instrument because it's very gentle, you know, you don't have to put pressure, there's no strain, it's just, and it's got a beautiful tone. I like the timber too, the wood. Yeah, well this one was lucky as well, I got this second hand and it was original lead sticking out of it. And it nearly electrocuted me when I tried it out and the guy just, yeah, he just had it as a bit of a collector's item because he bought it from this 70 year old that had it in his garage his whole life. Okay. And yeah, and I was lucky enough to score. So let's talk a little bit about your foot stomper. Well, this this is called a cajon, um, which is means a box drum, which is made by Woodskin, who are based in Melbourne. And um, pretty much it's just a box with a skin here, but the pedal here, by um, kicking it down with my heel triggers the skin and um, the great thing about this is that with um, these knobs here you can take the it has a snare that goes against the skin you can take it off and just have the beat so and you can play hand percussion as well oh, okay. so it's endless fun and it's a great comfy seat Beautiful. Okay, Jazzy, let's talk about your, your other shaker. Well, I've got another limb, so I decided to put... I've got a shaker and a tambourine, actually, which I can use when I'm playing live. So, they're supposed to be for your hand, but I just use my foot. My hands are busy. And then I have a tambourine, so depending on the sound of the song, you know, you might get... it up it you can put some reverbs and yeah Beautiful. it's great so uh, can you tell me a little bit about this instrument yeah there's just got lots of different instruments here as they all have different sounds but this one here is called a cigar box guitar yeah I can pop this down here and um, yeah this is you know what guitars used to look like back in the 1850s and they've only got three strings on them which is um, twice as easy to play as a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so you can pl play with a slide, or what's called, people call it a bowler neck. Well, this is just a um, copper slide. So yeah, it's just, it's just got a... So it's got that real sort of yeah. banjo-ish country sort of feel, but they all have like a different feel. Sort of yeah. yeah, but then right. um, you got to play around. Is it the kids? You got to play around with um, because it's in different keys. You got to play different harmonicas. Mm -hmm. So when I play live, I um, I have a belt which I put on, which sort of makes it easier to have the quick draw to make sure I've got the right key, because otherwise you feel around too much for yep. trying to get. Just uh, demonstrate this sound.
natural, playful feel. Yeah, beautiful. So, uh, do you have any <clears throat> tips for any one out there who wants to play solo like you? As a one-man show, mm. well, you got to get yourself coordinated. So, drummers are really good at coordinating themselves because they um, do four four things at once. You know, they have the beats. Mm -hmm. So, say you might in four-four time go one, two, three, four. So you just keep that repeating, and then this you might do on the two on the four. So you might go one, two, three, four, and two, three. And then you can like do things like clap. You go one and two and three and four and one and two and. And once you've got that coordination, you can pick up an instrument like this and just pick up the two notes. Like now instead of clapping, I'm doing the one and two and three and. But I'll keep the beat. So one. trickiest instrument to sort of master is it's just really delicate instrument you don't want to use much pressure to get the right tone yeah, and, um, yeah. but if, if you are interested I did put together a teach, teaching CD called press play and blow away and the way I teach is just to start off simple with simple rhythms like mm -hmm. a train rhythm for example yep. if you can make a train and slowly speed it up you have the right the flow through your breath so for example this is this is a train. I'll just do it on this harmonica. Shit, I don't even need my microphone. So, for example, a train, you just suck twice and you blow twice. And by doing that, if you stay relaxed, you can get fast, real fast. So, I'll show you. <laughs> so then you can just be playful and you know take people on journeys yeah. and if you snore that's a great effect on the harmonica because snoring yeah if you block your nose and do it with your throat yeah. you can get what's called the Gladys effect and okay it's endless what you can do on an instrument like this but the trick is yeah to just be really um, playful with it and just take steps at a time don't try and push yourself too far just enjoy the journey like with any instrument tell me a little bit about your effects and what sort of effects do you use there Jazzy uh, well I use what's called pods which come from line 6 and they're awesome because you don't have to cut around your own amp because they work as amp simulators so they you can choose what amp sound you like then you can add the effects to it so it's a bit of dialing around but it's real lot of fun and you get the sound that you want and then you save it and um, so for example this song here I I didn't want any delays or anything, I just wanted quite a big sound. So um, that through a big PA sounds awesome. Mm. And then for a harmonica I just have a bit of delay. But So I've got one for each, one for my guitar and one for my harmonica. Okay. So you can hear there's a bit of delay there, but I'll, I'll show you how I put all this stuff together in a song. This is quite a bluesy number. I call this one B-Love. It's um, a lot of fun to play. Yeah. 